When a believer has a catastrophic moral failure, it may appear sudden to us from the outside, but it's hardly ever sudden on the inside. Generally, sin begins small and internal, and if unchecked, then it blows up on the outside. We get a rare look at the anatomy of sin in today's reading from Matthew 26. It's a long chapter, and so we get to trace a lot of events. We see Jesus initially telling his disciples that all of them will fall away from him. And then Peter says, no, not me. I'll never fall away, even if everybody else does. And Jesus tells him, yes, you will. Before the rooster crows, you're going to deny me three times. Then we see the Garden of Gethsemane. And Jesus tells his disciples, three in particular, Peter, James, and John, stay here and pray. And they don't do it. They fall asleep. And then Peter famously denies Jesus. But it's in that Garden of Gethsemane passage that there are two verses I want to call your attention to. Matthew 26, verses 40 and 41. And he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, So you could not watch with me one hour. Watch and pray, that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Peter's ability to withstand the temptation to deny Jesus in a big catastrophic way depended on his willingness to commune with God in prayer beforehand. And it seems that it's because Peter would not draw close to God in prayer that he didn't have the spiritual resources to resist the big temptation. That's the way it is with lots of sins. It is rare that you find somebody that commits adultery who is regularly reading their Bible and meditating on it. It's rare you would, that you would find somebody embezzling money at work who has not let his prayer life slip. And it's rare that you would find somebody with a substance abuse problem who hasn't also let his evangelism and his personal obedience slip. You see, Sin usually starts small and then gets big. So don't neglect the little things in your life today. Pray, read the Bible, witness, obey, and that will guard you against the big sins that can come when the little neglect blows up. Have a great Tuesday.